name is Chuck. And when I'm not running on my wheel, flying my cardboard airplane, or starring in my own YouTube series, I'm watching PCTV Comcast 96 Verizon 34. And you should too. Oh, I like your commercial talk. You look very handsome. Thanks, Duchess. I used a little Vaseline to keep my fur in place. Much like those Miss America contestants when they put super glue on their bathing suits. I don't think they use super glue talk. Unless it's some kind of substitute for a proper waxing. The only problem with Vaseline is that it never seems to go away. Because the more I lick it, the more it appears to spread out. Really? Is this all we have to talk about now? Petroleum jelly? Ugh, I am so ready to get out of here and move to Hollywood. Yes, but the real question is, is Hollywood ready for you? Yes, as a matter of fact, they are. I didn't want to talk about this before because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I have been contacted by an agent, and as soon as the time is right, I'm going to L.A. to meet with all these important Contacts. Oh no, what is she doing? I thought she agreed not to talk about me. Well, I had no idea, Tippy. You certainly are full of surprises. And what exactly is this agent's name and what agency does he work for, dear? His name is Crad Seacroft. And he works for... Um... He works for... Purple Wooden and Puppet. You probably never heard of it. It's a very exclusive boutique agency. Purple, Wooden, and Puppet? Aren't those the nicknames for the three leads in the Twilight series? Oh, this is not good. Hey, we need to talk for a minute. Okay, what's up? Not here. I don't want the others to know. Then stop looming over me like an eagle about to pounce. You're making me very uncomfortable. Well, I'm uncomfortable too. That's why we need to talk. Meet me over by the staircase. Which staircase? The one to the pool area or the one to upstairs? Who cares? They're both in the same direction. Now move. Hey! I don't like your tone, mister. Sorry, it's one of the things I want to talk to you about. I think we're being drugged. Drugged? Shh, yes. Now meet me by the stairs. Which stairs? Just go! Okay, okay. Jeez, maybe if I said there were donuts by the stairs, he would have picked up the pace a bit. What was your agent's name again? Crad? What kind of name is that? Sounds like something left hanging off a Florida ballot. Maybe we should look him up on Google. Ah, oh, what a disaster. This will ruin everything. Oh, those stairs. For a minute there, I thought you might be referring to the step aerobic stairs. Now, what's up? Well, you know how we've all been feeling very tired and cranky lately. Yes, it's called the winter blues. Right, or so we thought. But then I started noticing that I mostly got tired right after I ate some of the dry food. You think the dry food is tainted? No. It's something that's being added to the dry food. Well, how do you know that? Well, I ran some tests using our owner's amateur chemistry kit and found some foreign agents among the food components. What kind of foreign agents? Magical agents. Our food is being systematically drugged with magic. So I was right. Something has gotten into this house. Oh, I have got to do something about this, but what? Hey, what are you two talking about over there? You look very suspicious. We'll talk more later. But wait. Uh, we were just discussing Tuck's training. It's been a while since we put him through the paces. Right, Boots? Right. He needs to uh, be wa working out much more than he is now. What are you doing? I'm sniffing for clues. If someone or something is using magic here, I should be able to trace the scent back to its owner. Oh, good idea. Think, Crad. Think. I need to distract them with something to buy some time. Oh, you want to see how fast I can get on the wheel now? All right, here I go. Look, I'm like a regular leopard now. That's great, Tuck, but I think you could probably even go faster. Faster, huh? Whoa! I'd like to see a freaking hamster do this. A hamster, right. You know, I once heard Richard Gere had a hamster that could... Uh, Boots, 
What are you doing? There's some tuna water on the floor here, so I'm collecting specimens for our investigation. Give me a break. We don't have time for you to roll around in every scent you come across. It has to be a magical scent. Tuna is magical. Makes my fur glisten even better than saliva. Maybe if I try going in the other direction, I can go even faster. Tricky bugger. And here I... Whoa! This isn't a game, you know. What isn't? Ugh, oh, you're useless. A game! That's it! I'll distract them with a game. And what better game than one that features each of them in it? Oh, crud, you're brilliant. Hold on to your hinges, everyone, because this board game is definitely gonna captivate you. Oh, no! Hey, did anyone else just see that? Something just appeared. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I can't be blamed for this one. Brilliant. Now that ought to hold those frisky felines for a while. I didn't do it either. But it looks like some kind of board game featuring us. Why, there's some kind of award cards and... Oh, look, game pieces with our pictures on it. What? Our pictures are on it? Mm -hmm. I hope they didn't use a full body shot. I'm much cuter in close-up. Strange. I wonder how this got here. I don't think the order of the idealistic ladder would send something without telling me first. But it does smell magical. How can you tell if something smells magical, Boots? Oh, wait. There's something on your fur here. Something fishy. It's either lobster rangoon or... It's tuna, you moron. Now back off. Leave me Sorry. alone. Sorry. This is not good. We're snapping at each other, losing our strength. It's times like this that I wonder, what would Rooster Cogburn do? Because we've got to find out who's behind this before we all turn into a bunch of mindless idiots. Guys? Hey, guys! I'm in the lead here. This is going to be fun.